a very good morning students welcome back to our maths class so students in our today's class we are going to do revision on the topic addition using the number line all right so before starting our today's class children let's give it a recap what we have learned in the last class so children i hope all of you have practiced what i have taught you in the last class yes so what we have learned we have learned addition using vertical method two digit numbers addition we have learned and three two digit numbers addition how to do vertically we have learned all right children i hope everyone learned it now another method vertical method i hope it is clear to everyone then another method that is number line addition using the number line so these are the method three methods are there these are the method already i have explained it to you in our maths classes you know the methods of doing addition just as a revision today we are going to do again the topic addition using the number line because your exam is t1 exam is very near right children so how many chapters are coming four chapters from lesson number 1 to lesson number 4 right till addition okay children so here you see i have taken two examples right we will do what addition using the number line we will add this number with the help of number line so i have drawn the number line also so children when you draw number line when the question ask about uh, add the numbers using the number line you have to draw the number line don't do only the 3 plus 4 equal to 7 not like that you have to show it you have to represent it on the number line so i have taught you what is a number line a line mark with numbers see here this is the number line this line mark with numbers from 0 to 10 right a line mark with numbers we call it number line or is called number line now how you are going to add this number as you all know how to add using the number line All right so these are single digit number 3 and 4 single digit 5 plus 5 all are single digit number now we are going to add okay so tell me children how you are going to add this how you will show the number line this how you are going to find out the sum of this with the help of number line so children what you have to do you have to draw the arrows okay now what is the number 3 plus 4 show it on the number line so i'll start from which number from 0 to first number is that 3 0 to 3 draw an arrow okay now second number is what 3 plus 4 now how many steps we have to move forward to get the sum so 0 to 3 how many steps we are we are going to move forward four steps where it stops that is the sum all right four steps 1 2 3 4 where it stops children 7 yes or no so circle it mark it 7 so what is the answer so 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 equal to 7 we got it on the number line clear children clear so this way you have to show it not by marking only the dot 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 like this All right children you have to show by drawing arrow got it next come to 5 plus 5 so we'll start again from where children tell me from 0 to 5 got it 0 to 5 now how many steps we will move forward to get the sum 5 plus 5 how much you have to show it on the number line so 5 0 to 5 first now next 5 so how many steps will move five steps 1 2 3 4 5 so it stops 10 so 5 plus 5 equal to how much children 10 got it clear so how you are going to show children yes tell me the numbers by drawing the arrow all right 
0 to 3, then 4 steps move forward, you will get the sum. Where it stops, that is the sum. I hope it is clear, children. Your revision class I am doing again, as I have already taught you. Don't do mistake, okay, children? Don't only mark it. If I ask, if question asks, show 2 plus 2 on the number line. Don't only mark 2 and 4 like this. Only mark. No. You have to draw the arrow to show the numbers along with the sum. Sum and along with the numbers. Okay, children? So, next, we are going to take another reason. I hope this too clear. So, children, now number C. So, C is what? 6 plus 5. Now you have to show it what is what is the sum of 6 plus 5 on the number line. So children see here this number line I have drawn to 50. Alright. Because when once you add 6 plus 5 what is the sum? You will get it. See here. So from where we will start? From 0 to 6. Now, how many steps we will move forward to get the sum? Tell me, children. Five steps. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. Where it stops? Yes, it stops at 11. Okay, so the answer is what? 6 plus 5 equal to 11. So, 6 plus 5, five answer is what? 11. When you add 6 with 5, so you get the answer what? 11. So see here, the number, number on the number line, we get the sum 11. Clear children? So now next is 7 plus 4. Again, same we have to do. From where we will start? From 0 to 0 to 7. Okay, 0 to 7. Now how many steps will you move forward? We will move forward four steps. One, two, three, four. So where it stops? It stops 11. C. The C and D. Both the answer we are getting C. 6 plus 5 equal to 11. 7 plus 4 equal to 11. So 0 to 7. Then how many steps we move forward? One, two, three, four. Where it stops? 11. So 7 plus 4 equal to 11. We get the sum on the number line. I hope it is clear children. That's why I have drawn this number line till 50. Because the sum of 6 plus 5 is 11. That is more than 10. Alright. So children kindly you all practice this number line. The methods. The methods which I have taught you in addition. Addition using finger. Fingers addition using the number line. Vertical or column addition. And also mental addition. Alright children. So these are the things you have to practice. Addition of one digit number. Addition of two digit numbers. Um, okay. So addition of two, three two digit numbers. Then what problems? You all practice this. Alright. So next class. Again we will continue from addition chapter only revision. Thank you.